time welcome to another video and today we're going to find out the differences between Hoano switches and if that's what you want to know you're in the right place so today we're going to be comparing the blue shell blue dot black yellow dot black blue dot black green dot black white dot black pink dot and blue shell with a white dot you'll see in this video that the blue shell white dot is tagged on after hence some of the different changes in the images here but it was still the same task if you're more interested in Khalif switches, I've done a video similar to this as well for those. I'll put a link in the description. Go and check that out. In this, we're going to be going over six areas and tests. First one's going to be measuring the shell, so you can work out if you need to solder the switches on here and if it's going to make a difference to your pre-travel and post-travel. We're going to measure the shell and the dot. We're going to do an actual force gauge test to tell us how hard it is to press. We're going to be doing a sound test as well as a DB reading to see how loud they are or quiet they are. We're doing a latency test using NVIDIA Reflex. And then I've got another one where I'm going to be my personal opinion on how they feel. But this is obviously more subjective. And I'll let you know which one I would pick out of all these switches. So for each test, we've run 50 results to give us the average here. And then I've taken the quickest 10 or lowest 10 readings here and averaged those out, which is what you'll see. Each test has been done on a single switch. I'm not going to go over 100 switches of the same kind to work out what the manufacturing tolerances are or any differences here. I haven't got the time to do that. So these are all on the single switch here. So there will be some differences, I'm sure. I've got a lot more Switch videos to come. I'm going to be doing Omron next, and I'll be doing things like Zippy, Cherry, and a few other brands as well. So keep an eye out for those. So let's start off today with the lifespan. This is taken from the data sheets or information I can gather on the internet here. So the lifespan for these switches are the blue shell blue dot is 50 million, the yellow 8 million, blue dot 10 million, green 5 million, white 5 million, pink 10 million, and the blue shell white dot 20 million. So obviously the longest lifespan here is the blue shell, which is 50 million, but these are estimates from the manufacturer. This is where they've been done to their tolerances. These can change, as you'll see on some switches around the market. They don't always last as long as you expect. Let's start off with measuring just the shell of the switch here. Now this is a very small tolerance, as people keep telling me, but this is still worth it, I think, from my point of view. If you're not interested in this, skip forward to the next part. Insulation tape that I've used to remove pre-travel on some of the mods, and I will do a video on that if you've asked me to do that, is 0.16 millimeters. So there's a difference here. You can see at the end of this, whether that tolerance bit here is enough to allow you to remove that using some insulation tape. So measuring the blue shell blue dot, it comes in at 6.48 millimeters, the yellow 6.61 millimeters, blue 6.56 millimeters, green 6.60 millimeters, the white 6.58 millimeters, pink 6.58 millimeters, Blue shell white dot, 6.62 millimeters. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the smallest one here is the blue shell blue dot at 6.48 millimeters. And the biggest is the blue shell white dot at 6.62 millimeters. This gives us a difference of 0.14 millimeters, which is just under the insulation tape of 0.16 millimeters. So now let's move on to measuring the dot as well here from the base of the shell. So the blue shell blue dot is 7.24 millimeters, yellow 7.12 millimeters, Blue dot 7.14 millimeters, green 7.14 millimeters, white 7.28 millimeters, pink 7.25 millimeters, blue shell white dot 7.26 millimeters. This means the smallest one is the yellow dot and 7.12 millimeters, with the biggest being the white dot being 7.28 millimeters. So the difference here across all this range is 0.16 millimeters, which again comes back to insulation tape. So if you find a little bit of slack here, if you swapped out, say, a black shell white dot for a black shell yellow dot, you might need to use that insulation tape to remove that fraction of pre-travel. So going back to the blue shells here, the difference between these two is 0.02, which is very, very small. You won't even notice this distance when they're measured in total size here from the shell to the dot. Let's test out the force. This is one of the things I'm more interested in here is which ones are firm to press, which ones aren't. We start off here with the force gauge meter to measure this. And we're going to move on to the blue shell blue dot, which comes in at 61 grams of force. The yellow, 64 grams of force. Blue dot, 63 grams of force. Green, 57 grams of force. White, 55 grams of force. Pink, 58 grams of force. And blue shell white dot, 59 grams of force. So the lightest here is the white dot, comes in at 55 grams, with the heaviest being yellow dot at 64 grams. This is a difference across the range of nine grams, which you will perhaps be able to feel top to bottom. And I certainly could when I tested them further on. So now for a bit of sound, see what they sound like, as well as the DB rating. A lot of people have been asking me which are the quietest switches, hence I'll put this test in here so you can wear that out for yourself. If you've got working in a shared environment, you don't want to make too much noise. So blue shell blue dot is 52 decibels. Mm. 
yellow 53 decibels. Blue 53 decibels. Green 49 decibels. White 53 decibels. Pink 50 decibels. Blue shell white dot 54 decibels. So the quietest in this range of Hawaiian switches is the green at 49 decibels, with the loudest being the blue shell white dot, white dot at 54 decibels. Difference across the range is only 5 decibels. I don't think you'd be able to notice this, to be fair. I wouldn't be too concerned. The more around the 50 to 55 decibel range is what you're looking at here. So let's see what the latency is like on these switches. We're going to use NVIDIA's Reflex, a 360 hertz ROG monitor that I've got, and a compatible ROG mouse to measure this using NVIDIA's performance metrics. And we're also using Fortnite, which is the only game currently compatible with this to give us this visibility across these switches. So Blue Shell Blue Dot came with an average of 0.5 milliseconds, a minimum of 0.1 milliseconds, and a maximum latency of 1 millisecond. Yellow, 0.6 millisecond average, 0.1 millisecond minimum, and 1.4 milliseconds maximum. Blue, 0.6 milliseconds average, 0.1 milliseconds minimum, 1.4 milliseconds maximum. Green, 0.5 milliseconds average, 0.1 millisecond minimum, and 1.8 milliseconds maximum. White, 0.4 milliseconds average, 0.1 milliseconds minimum, 1 millisecond maximum. <laughs> Pink, 0.4 millisecond average, 0.1 millisecond minimum, 1.4 millisecond maximum. And the blue shell white dot here, 0.5 millisecond average, 0.1 millisecond minimum, and 1.1 millisecond maximum. Whew, that was a lot. So, which is the fastest average here? That's what we're going to use, and that is the white dot with 0.4 millisecond average. The slowest one is the blue dot or the yellow dot with 0.6 millisecond average. All the minimum latencies on these switches was 0.1 milliseconds. The main difference here I see is the maximum, which was on the green of 1.8 milliseconds, which to me is getting a little bit high here, nearly two milliseconds in average. That's not good. It's not sustained over a long time though. This is only the maximum that it hits. So. Now moving on to something a bit more subjective, my personal thoughts on the click and how I rate them personally, as well as which ones I would go with if I was looking to pick one of these switches. So let's start off with the worst switch. I personally think the worst one here is the pink. I didn't like the feel of it. It feels barely clicky. It's getting on the mushy side, and I would not personally recommend it. The best one here is the blue shell white dot. This one feels outstanding. It's a nice click. I am impressed with that one. The blue shell blue dot isn't far behind this one. It just feels a little bit more crisp on the white dot, in my opinion. So which one would I pick out of these? Well, for me, as I've already said, the pink one is out of the question. I wouldn't even go near it. And the other two is the blue one with a white dot or blue one with a blue dot. And for me, I'd pick the white dot version because it's slightly better on latency and it's got a nicer click. So I hope this helps. Check out one of my other videos of the Cleveland if you've not seen that or any of my other videos, I go into a lot of detail. And I'll get the old one video out soon as well. We can definitely check out that. I'm looking forward to that one. And I'll see you soon. Catch you later. Bye bye.